What's the best car ever made? <laughs> In my opinion, and my opinion, of course, will go completely opposite of what the general consensus would be. I say Volkswagen bus. I want a bus. I want a Volkswagen bus so bad. It's been a long time since I've driven one. Back in about 92, I was lucky enough to get some money and uh, I had $1,500 to spend on a, uh, my first vehicle. And I worked at a pizza place. And I remember I worked in the kitchen and there was these big bay windows that faced the main parking lot out front. And lo and behold, I'm sitting there making a pizza and this big orange Volkswagen bus drives up. It was a 78, almost mint condition. Not a scratch on it. All the upholstery was perfect. Everything. Tinted windows all the way around. Price tag on the side. For sale. $1,500. <laughs> well, needless to say, I bought it. And that bus turned into my first car and my best companion. We took it to couple of uh, dead shows. Well, we took it down to Eugene a few times. We took it down to Shoreline once. Um, not not a heavy touring on it, but um, I'll never forget racing down the freeway with my friend. He had a, a 77 with a 2100 in it. Mine was just an 1850, but, you know, we'd race down the freeway, <laughs> go to the country fair. Remember, we parked at the dead show with our doors facing each other, put a tent between the two buses, just like the old school way. And uh, those moments, those times in my life are just embedded in my memory. But that same 1978 bus that I bought in 1992 for $1,500 would probably now sell for about 15000 Maybe not 15000 okay, let's say. And the 78s are not as desirable as the 60s, but if you want to buy, let's say, you know, a nice bus like I bought, let's say, for 1500 it would probably cost about minimum of five or six grand today. And when I look back, I think, oh my god, well that's because the time between 78 and 92 was only 14 years. The time between 92 and now is 20 years, so it's been 32 years total. So it's just, to me, how I've aged. When, when I was a kid, I guess what I'm saying is when I was a kid, Volkswagen buses seemed totally vintage. But it was really, they were still around when I was young. They were still being made. Um, now today, it's nearly impossible to find one. In fact, there was an auto auction where they sold, I think it was like a, it was a 65 panel bus or something for over $100,000 on one of those car shows. Just crazy. And if you go on uh, Craigslist right now, let's say, just type in like, you know, 60s Volkswagen bus, you'll find an old beat up multi-window bus with probably no glass left in it, nothing inside, no interior, barely a frame with no motor for like 10 grand, 15 grand. It's absolutely ludicrous. And uh, so, why do I say that they're the best cars? Not because of the parts, not because that they were designed the best, or because they're the most reliable. Being a reliable car is great, but if you have a super reliable, expensive, well-made car and it breaks down, and you can't fix it on the spot. You might have to wait for parts or whatnot. All around, the Volkswagen is the best car because you can carry everything you need with you to replace the whole engine anywhere at any time and uh, you know they were designed for military use I mean the Nazis used them and uh, uh, <laughs> they, 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 if you get something you know those things will cover anything I mean I took my bus everywhere it was it was insane I loved it just loved it so I'd love to get another one someday I hope I run across one I've been looking I've never wanted a van again because I'm not a big fan of the 80s models, you know, I just don't like that look to them. But if I could get a hold of a Synchro, I would take it in a heartbeat. It's like, that's their four-wheel drive version, and those things go everywhere. But, I went this morning and looked on Craigslist, I just thought, I wonder if anybody's selling a Synchro. And I found one, here in Vancouver, or here in Washington, <laughs> for $35,000. <laughs> I was just shocked. I couldn't believe it. The first line says, you know what these are if you're looking, you know. But uh, anyway, maybe it was like 25000 
Either way, we're talking twenty five grand for a brand new car or twenty five grand for an old van again. If you told somebody they'd be paying that much back in the nineties, <laughs> they'd laugh. Well, I'm gonna get out and look for one and hopefully be driving one again someday because there's just something about sitting up in the front of a bus. <laughs> Take care, everybody.